got back from Costco, so I figured I would do a little Costco haul. Start over here. I got some salmon. Um, my husband wanted to smoke some salmon, so I bought a salmon filet so he could smoke that this weekend. Got some salami for him to snack on. We have a bunch of like cheeses that he needs to eat. I think I have some like Gouda cheese and stuff like that that he hasn't been eating so I figured salami would be a good thing to have with that. Some bacon because we are out and we're always eating bacon around here. Got some wings. I like to, um, I mean we eat a ton of wings so we go to Wingstop a lot but I like getting wings rather than like the chicken legs right now. I do like chicken wing legs but these a um, little bit better stats and calorie wise and all that kind of stuff so um, some ground beef for random stuff kind of been wanting to make the my chili dog casserole again soon so I need some ground beef for that somebody has suggested getting propel instead of the uh, Powerade zero or at least trying it um, so I saw it there I wanted to try like a smaller bottle but I hadn't seen it at the other store um, so I just went ahead and got the case I'm Hopefully I like it. <laughs> so, um, so I got some calcium supplements. When I so my new scale tells me my bone density and stuff, and it's a little bit on the low side for somebody my age. So I figured I should start taking a calcium supplement. So I got that. This also has magnesium in it, which um, I figured is good and vitamin D, all that good stuff. So I got those. I got some more of the Dubliner cheese because that kind of went quickly around here. My husband really liked it. So I got that, some more uh, medium cheddar, some more eggs, cause I'm almost out of eggs. I had, beginning of the week I had a ton of eggs and now I'm almost out. I guess it's because of the egg fast. My husband wanted some more um, beef jerky. So I got this, it is, um, let's see, five grams of carbs for one ounce, which, which is a little bit high, but I have to get jerky that my husband's gonna like. So this was kind of the lower amount of carbs for the, the kind of jerky that he'll eat. I got this, probably, I'll probably eat more of this. I think this stuff has, yeah, one gram of carbs in it. So I'll probably eat that more than him. He might eat it in a pinch, so I figured it's kind of better. And then I was looking for cheese wisps because I know they sell them at Costco, but apparently not my Costco. But while I was um, looking for them, I found, I came across these. So I got them, um, I don't think they're as good as cheese wisps. So there's six grams of carbs for six pieces. Um, it's a little bit high, so one, one each. Let me see if I can get the ingredients in here. Let's see, what are the ingredients? Cheese, milk, salt, enzymes, organic quinoa, organic oat bran, organic brown rice, and garlic. Yeah, so these aren't the greatest, but um, you know, if I only have like a few, I was thinking like a snack would be maybe like three of these and then one of the, spread the one of these cheese wedges on it and that would be a good little snack. And it would probably be like four grams of carbs. It's a little bit on the high side, but not too bad. And then I got some more cheese slices so I can make cheese crackers for my husband. And some broccoli florets. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I got some cat litter, not very exciting, and some tennis shoes for my husband also, but this is all the grocery stuff I got. I will check in again later. Hi there. I just wanted to check in real quick. Um, I'm feeling a little bit weird today, so I woke up this morning and I felt fine. Um, I wasn't really very hungry, um, and since it is crazy hot around here, over 100 degrees, um, I needed to get do some yard work because my sister is going to be bringing her kids over to swim in my pool So I needed to like clean up my backyard clean up after my dogs and all that kind of stuff So I wanted to do it early while it was cool So I went out in my yard at about like 9 30 this morning And I was only out there for you know a little bit more than a half an hour picking up after my dogs and I pulled some weeds Nothing crazy. I wasn't like really sweating or working that hard um, and then I came inside and I at that point was feeling kind of hungry but I wanted to take a shower um, so I went to take a shower and for some reason when I was in the shower I started feeling really weird like I don't know how to explain it it was just like my heart was kind of racing and I just couldn't 
breathe very well like the humidity in the room was just like too much for me so I had to like open the door to get cooler air into the shower and I had to like sit down for a minute and I don't know I don't know what it was but um, and so I just had to like calm down and then you know then I could like rinse my hair out and then it would kind of come back when I was standing and doing stuff it would just sort of come back so um, once I got out of the shower, I laid down for a few minutes and then, you know, I ate breakfast and I felt a little bit better. Um, I did kind of feel it again because then after I sort of got dressed, I went to Costco and as I was sort of outside in the, in the heat, I could kind of feel that feeling coming back. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know if it has anything to do with the egg fast. I kind of don't think it does. Um, I really haven't been out in the heat very much. I mean, because it's crazy hot, but I've been mostly in my air-conditioned home. So I did go out yesterday in my pool for a little bit, and I know our air quality is really bad here right now. Um, you know, I live in a valley, and we're basically, you know, I'm sitting in the bottom of a bowl that has, is filled with smog. So I don't know if maybe being out in um, in the pool yesterday, just being out in the air, and then again in the mor this morning when I was out doing the yard work, if that uh, for some reason is just affecting my lungs, because that's kind of it kind of felt like in my chest where it was just it was I wouldn't say it was really hard to breathe, but I just it just was sort of oppressive, especially the humidity. So. Anyways, I've never really experienced anything like that, and I'm just feeling kind of off because of it, so um, I'm going to take it easy today. My sister is going to bring her kids over to swim. We were going to swim laps. I might not, because I was planning on going to the gym, too. I was going to go to the gym this morning, but after all that happened, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to skip the gym and just do the swimming, and I'm not even sure I want to do the swimming now, um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But um, I just thought I would check in and share that with you. Hey there, just checking in with my dinner. And I figured I wanted, I was super excited to show you that actually one of my keto egg fast pancakes came out looking like an actual pancake. So I was very excited about that. And I wanted to, well, I was gonna show you anyway, but I'm super excited about this one. I will uh, check in again later. Bye. Hi there. I just wanted to check in one more time today um, to let you know that I'm feeling a lot better than I was. My That issue I was having with my, I guess my lungs, it seems to be a bit better. Um, I did take it easy when my sister came to swim with her kids. We didn't do any laps or anything like that. We kind of just lounged and played in the pool, um, and that was fine. So I'm going to try and go to the gym tomorrow to kind of make up for not doing anything today, but I just wanted to check in and let you know that I'm feeling a bit better. I'll uh, check in again tomorrow. Bye.